Quite possibly, we have the world's largest Boston Ferns right here in Sumner County. It's all thanks to Josh McKenzie. He's the son of the jeweler David McKenzie, and all this transpires at the Gallatin location. I sat down, asked him a few of his tips for growing such massive ferns. And here they are. They are about five feet tall, four and a half feet wide. That's just me ballparking it, but absolutely gorgeous. Hey everybody, I'm here with Josh McKenzie and I just had to learn more about his ferns because I was here on Sunday eating at the Mexican restaurant. I looked over, I saw these, and I've seen them before, but this wasn't the first year that they captured my eyes. But I know you guys want to know more, just like I want to know more. So Josh, how long have these been your entity that you've been taking care of? I got these from Rogers Market back in 2013, in March, and uh, had to repot them three times since then. But uh, the key is to to water them every day. Okay. I had to, like I said, I had to repot them three times, and they're pretty much root bound, uh -huh. so I have to water them every day and in the summertime twice a day and once a week I'll fertilize them. Okay. See I would have thought that these were like twenty years old or something. So I mean two thousand thirteen, that's a long time to keep something alive, but I'm kinda of surprised they're not even older than that. They're very big. I bring them in every winter and uh keep them right here at the public store so they get some natural sunlight. Okay. Um, but yeah they uh they were small, they were eight dollars when I got them. Wow. So wow. every time I repot them, they just kept getting wider and wider. And here they are today. So, yes, this is a Boston fern, right? They are Boston ferns. They are. Okay. And I love ferns because, like you said, they're not that expensive. But then when I see this, it's just like, wow, this is the possibility. And you were saying that you kind of did some research as to, uh, they might possibly be, you know, the biggest, they, you know, in the world. They might be. They might hold the Guinness World Record. I haven't hauled them yet, but the guy that thinks he has the biggest, I've seen pictures of it online, and it's uh, it's not quite as big as these. Wow, that's great. Okay, so how much water? I use two gallons in each plant. Two gallons. Yeah, I usually do that first thing in the morning. Okay. Uh, if it's real hot, I'll hit them before I leave at 5 o'clock. tablespoons and two gallons so about four tablespoons in each plant okay and then what time of the year will you take them inside for right good? before the first freeze right before the first freeze they won't last okay and then you said you just keep them here getting natural sunlight i guess at my house maybe i could keep them in a garage if it has a window you can. as long as the the center doesn't die on you they'll come back out the next year Okay, because the center is like yeah, the brains of the operate the crown of it. Okay, now I know Boston ferns can also shed, but I guess if it's outside, you don't really worry about that. Or do no, they you? shed a lot in the wintertime in the store. I have to back constantly underneath it. Inside, okay. Yeah, but they do, they shed a lot. Right now, they're not really shedding that much, um, but they do shed a lot inside the store. And these lighter parts, this is all like new growth, this right? This is all the new growth here. And uh, on the bottom underneath, it's like, that's where it was at Christmas time when it came out, you know, for last year. You kind of see on that other plant where it's not around. Like this one here, that's from last year. Here, this is all the new growth. It kind of lays over. Is it ever necessary to, to trim them or take off the of that? I do. When I bring them out, I trim off as much dead as I can. Cut them back a little bit with the knife, so I'll cut them back as far as I can on the, on the back row. Have you always been had a green thumb and good with plants? I have, I have. Okay. I used to plant my mom's flowers when I was, when I was 12 or 13. Okay, because I kill everything, so this, um, I'm so impressed. Well, thank you. Um, and then do they have names since they're. I haven't named they're just my babies. Yeah, so I haven't them yet, though. And then, so how long, obviously all your life you've worked here? Or I have, it's my dad's store, and 
I've been working for them ever since I was little. So, yeah. grew up in the business. Well, I know you're safe within the community. I've lived here for 42 years, and I've always seen David McKenzie Jewelers. And I guess the Hendersonville location was the first location. It was. 1984 is when he opened that store. Okay. Yeah. And then when did you open the Gallatin? We opened this one 18 years ago. 18 years. Well, thanks, Josh. Thanks for answering Thank all our questions. So this Very is awesome. Appreciate it. All right. Yes.